Hello everyone and welcome to our DVC show. My name is Ben Malin and this week I will be doing a pumpkin pie. This is something that I thought would be really cool to do because again it's something that you throw in your oven. It's in there for a long time and you can kind of chill. I've been on vacation quite a bit like over the holiday period and everything and I feel like pumpkin pie is just right out there. It's an option. It would make your room smell amazing. I've never thought of it and I feel like if I've never thought of it plenty of you haven't either. It's a good idea and we're gonna do it. Um, so that's what's happening this week and this video like every other video we do is sponsored by the world of DVC that would be dvcresellmarket.com if you're looking to buy any points or sell your points dvcrentalstore.com if you're looking to rent some points try this place out like my aunt has or if you're looking to rent your points out to people like my aunt or uh, also monerafinancial.com who will make it incredibly easy to finance that contract. So thanks to them as always, here we go. Okay, so for the pumpkin pie, first things first, we just bought a pie tent from Publix because it's already done. We're on vacation. We don't need to take all the time to make a pie crust. And what's great about the Keebler ready-made crust is that the plastic lid it comes with is your lid to store it in the fridge with. It's great, you're, you've already got your storage. So you'll put in your pumpkin, you'll put in your eggs, brown sugar, cornstarch, salt, pumpkin pie, spice, cream, and milk, you're done. If you are an absolute purist and you want to put all those pumpkin pie spices in individually, the cinnamon, nutmeg, ginger, cloves, all that, go for it. But you're on vacation. Again, just get the pumpkin pie spice and save the money. When all that's mixed together, pour it into the pie crust. You're preheated at 375, put it in. It's going to be 55, 60 minutes, and you're done. That can cool on your counter for half an hour before you put it in the fridge to get it cool a little quicker so everyone can eat it. Do not put it straight in the fridge from the oven. Not just because it's hot and it's cold in the fridge, but actually the way that the sugar works in there. That sugar's heated up, it's melted. You don't want to shock it. That's going to make your pie not so nice. So just leave it out for 30 minutes. You can put it in the fridge for 30 minutes and it's ready to eat. If you're a whipped cream person, if whatever you want to have it with, you're ready to go and your villa is going to smell amazing and you can sit on the couch and watch TV while it bakes. And that is all you have to do. All right. So we just ate our pumpkin pie. And it was so good. You are losing your mind I'm over it. I'm losing my mind over it. It actually is probably the best pumpkin pie I've ever had. I'm not even just saying that. It is so good. It was so fresh and then you could taste that homemade in it. It was just really delicious. And you mentioned something about that because I've only had like store-bought pumpkin pies. I don't think I've ever had a homemade pumpkin pie before. Mm -hmm. And you said right off the bat, this tastes yes. like a homemade pumpkin like pie. Like a homemade, I can taste like the, like just all the flavors of fall and what a pumpkin yeah. pie should be. It was so fall. It was so good. Just complete fall explosion in your mouth. And um, compliments to the chef yeah. who did, did mention that he used a graham cracker crust instead and it was it was perfect and it, I think it was a game changer and it was like I said it was the best pumpkin pie I've ever had. <laughs> Agree. Okay so we are done that was the pumpkin pie uh, we can still smell it certainly can taste it right now we've had a really great time and um, what was also great so that pumpkin pie took 50 minutes in the oven and then we had to let it cool out on the counter of course for 30 minutes and then in the fridge for 30 minutes and it's absolutely so important to actually wait that long so whatever you and your kids are doing whatever you and your family are doing in the meantime just go do your thing but we got to know each other better you know and we just had a really good time just sitting here and i kind of forgot where i was for a second like really we're in old key west in a one-bedroom villa <laughs> and that's what we're doing here and it was just a really it's been a really special experience doing stuff like this, and we are so glad to keep this up. Um, again, if you want to see where we were chilling out, um, head down to the description below to see the room tour that we've done of this place. And of course, if you want to reach out to me with any questions or anything like that directly, um, my email, my contact info will be in the description as well, havenbakeryllc at gmail.com. That is the name of my business that I'm getting going. Um, and we'll put all the links down to my stuff down below as well. And we are going to keep doing these. So please leave your comments, any suggestions, anything that you'd like to see us pull off in here. And we're going to get after it because we're having a good time doing it. So that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.